Do you ever hold a short position or are you always long and in cash? Good one. So uh, <laughs> let me take you back. This this is like, this Q&A is great because it, it uncovers uh, so many memories and history and experiences I've had. So I, I, I will take you all back to uh, 1999 in San Francisco. Crazy time. Everybody is FOMOing into the market, buying crap. I remember the first stock I shorted was in September 1999. It's a company called EMC. It was trading at a PE of 127. And I looked at the storage market. I looked at the customer base. They were the leader. Everything was completely saturated. I said, there's no way this is sustainable. And I was right. So I shorted. And after that, I got this bug. And I started shorting everything. And the timing was great for about two years. But what happened was... And this is the importance of why I started studying mentality. I became a perma bear because I was so successful at shorting that I couldn't flip the switch in my little brain, my little reptilian brain, to go bullish again, which really invariably happened 2001, 2002. So it took me three years to snap out of that because I was studying. And so what's wrong with me? You know, I was you know, always kind of bullish started having success shorting stuff, had success along and stuff, you know, 1997 to 1999 was an amazing time to be in the markets, but then it changed, real change real fast uh, because of fundamental analysis. I went bearish and I was right. I was a little bit early on EMC, but about three months later it tanked. And and that, that kind of, the reason I'm mentioning this is we see a lot of perma bears out there and yeah, they can be right once every 20 years. But you got to flick that switch in your brain. you got to know when to short, when to long. So I do like your question. Now, let me get back to where we are. I am often short, very often hedged. Um, I always hold some cash because you never know what's going to happen. And I built a, a product called Pair Trading on Steroids, which is a more than 25-year-old vision for a, a tool to really help shorting stuff. So yes, I'm a very big shorter. And by the way, my mistake... I was caught out last cycle by not shorting crypto. That mistake will not happen again. So I, I remained disillusioned by all the hyper bulls that were out in the market. And I was kind of, I was the most sandbagged and I was optimistic and bullish because look at Metcalf's law and adoption and everything else. But now we are a lot wiser. 